Hi guys, it's reaction time. So, Steve Algeri and Bated Breath. Now this, I, I reacted to a Steve Algeri song maybe three weeks ago. Fucking loved it. I love his vocals, man. He's just a, such a, a talented vocalist. Um, of course, it's a bit weird doing this one, isn't it? Because, well, today we've had the Journey album out. Um, the new Journey album, Freedom. We've had the great Crossing Rubicon uh, album out today, which is very, you know, pure AOR. In in sort of, you know, in that influence of Journey, I would say, Toto, Foreigner, that sort of stuff. So another great release to check that out if you if you want, guys. And um, we've got Steve Algeri, um, Baited Breath. I think this came out, oh, four days ago, this one. So I'm a little bit behind, but just busy, man. So um, I just love this guy's voice. I just think he's fantastic. I really do. Um, you could say underrated. I would definitely say that um, because he's just got the perfect voice. He, I, I think he was great in Journey. So that's just my opinion, by the way. A lot of people's opinion, actually. I, I just think he's fantastic. He's got a brilliant uh, voice. So Steve Algeri, Baited Breath. It's actually coming off the album, but don't think there's a, a date for it yet, but it's coming off the album Seven Ways Till Sunday. Um... I apologise if I haven't got the, if there is a date, but it's not under the video. Um, it just says it's the second single, basically. So, Steve Gary, Baited Breath, here we go. With bated breath and bended knee, I pray in earnest she comes back to me. Without a word. Without a fight, I let her slip away into the night. Oh, well, I'm strong, but I'm not that strong. I pray the world loosens its grip on me. Oh, when time tells, with all else is bad, I'll be waiting here with faith. With heavy heart upon my sleeve Where my emotions for the world to see With each breath in me Won't let it out Afraid it be the last of all Just as all lovers would do Oh, now time tells With all the sins fell I'll be waiting here with bated breath Give it a quick stop there. Always do halfway through, guys. Well, it's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, what control this guy's got. Steve Algeri has just got such a beautiful tone to his voice, the control in this song. I, you know what, the thing is with me, I was a singer in a band when I was younger, a lot younger. So when I listen to music, it's automatically the first thing I, I, I listen to. I mean, I love guitars, I love drums, I love bass, not so much keyboards, but <laughs> I do love keyboards when the, the time's right, you know, I, I do. And piano as well, like this song. But vocals is my, you know, you can have the best band in the world. If, if I don't like the vocalist, I'm like, oh, fuck, the vocalist can't sing. He's not, you know, or he doesn't quite tune into what I want to hear. You know, it's like some vocalists can do, sing anything, but it could be something about them that you don't get on with. Their tone or the way they pronounce their, it could be anything. I think Steve algeri has got one of those voices where, you know, who could say that it ain't perfect? The tone, the control. He really does sound different on this to me as well. I mean, you know, in, in the past, you could say, and uh, no wonder he went with Journey. I mean, he had the, you know, the, so, to take over from someone that's like Steve Perry. And I'm not saying he's a, he's a clone or a copycat or anything, but, you know, very close on that Arrival album, especially to Steve Perry. You know, you you think, no wonder they got him. You know, a bit like when Arnell joined Journey. 
But in this, I think he shows a different side. You can hear, you know, he's got so much of his own character and his voice. It's just, in this song in particular, what I've heard him sing, it really does, it's so fucking cool. And he's got, like, he's, he's making it his own, it's his own instrument rather than, you know, you could never say this was a fucking Steve Perry uh, copycat. You could never say that, never. It's a beautiful sung song, beautifully constructed, just going along with that piano, you know, and, and I've always said with AOR, especially I'm like this, you know, in some of the some of the softest songs you could ever hear, but if it's pure AOR like this is, and it's just it just fits perfectly with a beautiful vocal, and I could listen to it all day. Although I like a crunchy fucking guitar, when it's done right, you know, it's done right. And this is fucking excellent. I didn't expect any less. As soon as he opens his mouth, I'm like, yeah. Fucking Steve or Kerry, man. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Let's listen to the rest. Chance to chance, love comes back to life. Oh, when the love is strong, but I'm not that strong. I pray the world loosens its grip on me. Oh, when time tells, but all us is fair. I'll be waiting here with pain. Just, just outstanding vocal performance. Love the way the sort of guitar even crept in there at the end for a really quick bit of soloing, but that was so cool. That would have, you know, easily fitted on, I think, especially the Arrival album. Um, I love that album, and I think that would have fitted in perfectly. Mind you, weren't there about 75 songs on that album? So I don't, <laughs> I don't know where you would have fit it on, but it was an excellent ballad, just beautiful. Just beautiful. Sometimes you need a bit of that. I was saying, I love a bit of heaviness sometimes. I love a crunchy guitar, but when it, a vocal is like that over a ballad, a piano ballad especially, it just grabs me sometimes. Perfect vocal performance. Steve Orgary, Baited Breath. And remember, even though there's not a date, I don't think, um, you can correct me if I'm wrong, guys, um, but it's the second single from his forthcoming album, Seven Ways Till Sunday. Can't wait for that. I can't wait for a full album with Steve Orgary. Just amazing stuff. Let me know what you think. That vocals, man. Just amazing stuff. Let me know, guys, and I'll see you soon.